Yeah, out here with Buddy. We're on this nice trail here. And you notice he's he's not on a leash. He almost never is. Fact is, when we got him, I trained him on the e-collar. I know a lot of people probably think I'm a terrible person for that, using the e-collar. But to tell you the truth, it's just a great way to keep your dog close to you or have him listen at a, at a distance. If anybody has a dog knows, the greater the distance, the less they're going to listen to you. And you need to change it, change their mind like this. Bud, come here. See that? Sit. He hears something in the woods. Now watch. Sit. Good boy. See? No electricity needed. Anyways, that doesn't come automatically. Took some time. Had some sessions with a, a long lead or a piece of rope, about 50 foot long. And it's not rocket science. You just train them with some basic commands and light electric on the e-collar. And pretty soon you don't even need to use it. I use the tone mostly. I'll show you the tone here. Hear that? And he just comes back, you know. He's not afraid of the e-collar. Actually loves it when I get it out. He knows he's going to do something fun. So some might say, oh, you know, e-collars, so inhumane. I think most people's minds are pretty much made up on a lot of things like politics or coronavirus vaccine or whatever you might say. You can't change anybody's mind about pretty much anything. But just say, just showing you the results here. And to tell you the truth, if, you know, People might say, oh, you wouldn't use it on your children, would you? Well, to tell you the truth, I'd use it on myself if it would keep me from making stupid decisions, you know. And that's basically what you're doing for your dog. Keeping him from chasing wildlife or running out in the street, or running up to people, whatever it might be. By the way, he never runs up to anyone when we're on the trail. He actually, he, when he's way ahead... He gets close to another dog or a person. He runs back to me. Because he knows, he knows he's not allowed to greet anybody without me. Or any other dogs. So he gets into trouble with dogs sometimes. Especially if they run up to him. Whether he's on a leash or not. It makes him nervous. He doesn't like that kind of contact. Uh, but. That being said. You know. The e-collar is excellent for exercise. Getting your dog out. And having loose in certain situations, you know, you can't, you know, of course, use it in town or, you know, places where a bunch of people around, you might still want to use a leash. But just wanted to let you guys know, anybody, you know, I'm probably talking to myself, but, you know, anyways, just always wanted to tell you, tell people how successful the e-collar is, has been, at least for my dog here, and I think it can be for you. Mine, by the way, is a dog. Oh, what's it called? I have to look at it. See that there? What's that say? Sport dog. Right? I think it's the 1250. Which will work. I don't know. As far as you can see. I guess if you were training your dog as a uh, tracker. Or some guys will use them uh, for bear, bear hunting. Bear hounds or... Things like that where you need a few miles, you may want one with a GPS and all that stuff. But if you're just like me, want your dog to come back when he's away from you, when he's off his leash, train him. 1250 is fine. Maybe even the 600, I think, which is like 600 foot or whatever. But they're very effective. And I, I don't know, you know, other dogs may not respond as well, but... I don't know, he's a pit bull, you know. Not a water spaniel, by the way. I think I called him that in the other video. Of course, you knew I was kidding. But there is actually a water spaniel. And I tell you, 
I bet you this dog's seen more water than 90% of the water spaniels out there. Look, there's some ducks right there. It's a good example here. See those mangoes ears? You stay. See them out there? I don't know if you can see them, but I'll try to. They are real close, maybe 20 feet from the dog. And he just knows he's not allowed to chase them. Let's go. So there you go. Perfect example. Got some wildlife close by, 20, 30 feet away. Pit bull. He's not thrashing them, you know? What do you do without the e-collar? I don't know. But anyway, he's uh, he's showing his... Which, yeah, I'm not even using I just snap my fingers and he can... He kind of knows. You just got to snap the brain out of it, right? Out of that prey drive. And it just uh, keeps him from thinking too much about it. So, uh, that's going to probably do it for this, uh, this video. Hey, buddy, come, come. Sit. He's going to say goodbye. Sit down. Sit, sit. Hey. All right, see, there's his, there's his e-collar. And this is another really cool thing. This is a rad dog. See that leash on there? Look at that. It's attached to his collar. Why didn't I think of that? Anyway, I did. And I tried to to make one and I found that somebody already does and it's called rad dog that's another great dog invention but we'll save that for another video all right see ya